Cubase Academy. This is I am Gary with Cubase Academy uh, with a very short video, a shortcut I found by accident. And uh, it's not a big, maybe you know it already. And if you do, good. I wish somebody had told me because it would save me a lot of time. Oh, and ignore all the boxes behind me. I am having some remodeling done and stuff's got to go somewhere, so it's behind me. Anyway, if we go over to my Cubase screen, uh, I have an instance of Easy Drummer running, and you can see that using the original mix of Easy Drummer, uh, it gives us uh, 13 channels of audio. Not all of them are used, but you can see we've got overhead, ambience, kick, snare top, snare bottom, blah, blah, blah. So all of those outputs right now are just coming out of channel one. So everything's affected by a single fader. You can see here in Easy Drummer, everything is assigned to output one. And you know that if you want to mix something down, then that's not always the most practical thing. You want it to be on individual tra channels so you can EQ, press, do things you want to do. So the way to do that is you come up to this little button right here, activate outputs, you click it. And what I've been doing in the past is I've been clicking these one at a time, so I want 13. So that's two, three, four, five, Four, that's how I've been doing it. Now, maybe I just didn't get it. It's been pretty tedious. And if you do activate all outputs, uh, whoops, if you do activate all outputs, then you've got, you know, I've got, in this case, four channels I don't need. Okay. So, normally, uh, I would go through, as I showed you, and click all those individuals. Well, so the other day I was fooling around and I needed outputs. So I clicked on the first empty output, or the first disabled output, I should say. And then I went down to the number of tracks I needed, which would actually be 12, but I think I'm gonna put an extra one in. And I held down the shift key and I clicked and they selected. So then I clicked and activated one. And of course, they all activated. So I've been doing it the hard way all of this time. Something else I discovered that with Easy Drummer, I used to go through and go, okay, this is output two, this is output three, uh, but you don't need to do that either. You just go to any one of these and say, multi-channel, and it does it for you. Now, the one thing it does do is it puts um, all the toms on five, and it skips over eight, nine, and 10. I haven't figured that part out yet, but that was not what this video was about. So that's, you know, ancillary. Anyway, that's it. So thanks for watching. Oh, it, and it's Christmas today. So red shirt for Christmas. It's um, holiday here in, in the US and many places around the world. So happy holidays if you're celebrating today, if you see this today. Uh, if not, happy Monday. And uh, if you happen to be watching this on another holiday in the future, by coincidence, happy that holiday. If I covered everything without offending anyone, I think. Well, thanks for watching. Give us a like uh, and uh, subscribe if you feel like it. <laughs> See you next time.